freaking at it. Do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad. <laughs> I'm a work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rise in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. I'm never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. Hi and welcome to episode 34 of this Road to Glory the Youth edition with Whitehawk FC where we take Whitehawk from League 2 all the way up to the Premier League into the Champions League. When we reach our Champions League final, this series will end no matter how that game goes. And to get there we can only use Youth Academy players or Regions, no replay whatsoever, that is the entire plot. Now, we are currently in League 1, Season 3. And we are fighting. We are in the top, same point as Rotterdam. And as you can tell, on the ninth, the first game of this episode, we take on Rotterdam. Then the other three games of this episode are on the 13th. We play Barrow, get a couple of days of rest, and we have a cup game against Grimsby Town. And then we'll end the episode with a game away against Blackpool. So we are now ready for the first game, away against Rotterdam. We'll have a quick look at the league table, head to the kids, and then get rocking. All right, so this is the league table. As you can see, we're sitting first. Rotterdam is breathing our neck. A goal is, you know, in the goal difference, we have nine goals, they have eight. That's what separates these two teams. So we are playing in our blue away kit, and we are playing Rotterdam in their classical red-white kits so without further ado let's just head into the game i'm i'm kind of nervous but buckle let's go so we are ready now rotterham versus white talk fc and they will kick it off and we are rocking come on boys oh i can't get to that's that's brilliant defending of the ball big say boil oh we have lee he breaks through and he can He misses the goal. Well, Valentini's through and he managed to miss from there. Really, Valentini? We can't get between the sticks. You know, the computer in this. And oof, we have a big save boy. Get there, Valentini. Oh, we are going out of angle. Oh. He injures himself, but he scores. Nice one, Stewart. So Stewart scored his first goal in the 43rd, giving us a, a lead. Fragile lead, but it's a lead. Oh, here they come. Oh, big save. We have a corner. We are rocking second half now. We get there, boys. Chilenas. Oh, he gets it. He is trying to go around them. He managed to. Oh, can he cut inside too? That's a cheeky finish, Jimenez. Disgusting. Love it. Disgusting. Love it. Score. Jimenez scores the second goal of the season, giving us a two-goal lead away against Rotterdam. Get that. Here they come. Oh, here they come, for real. He's, he's inside the box. Oh, that's an own goal. 
we have a re reflection and it's an own goal. Otherwise, we both would have got that. That's a 2 1 game now. It's gonna get nervous, you know? It's a 2 1 game and yeah, we can't really say much about that one because it is kind of fair, you know? We managed to win away against Rockstrom two goals to one after being pressured. I'll take it. So we are ready for the second game of the episode. Taking on Barrel home at the enclosed grounds and we are playing in our red kits and they are in their black. Now without further ado, let's just head into this game and buckle up. Let's go. So, they are kicking it off. White Hawk FC versus Barrel. And we are rocking. Come on, boys. We can actually cut inside. That's fantastic. Cut the ball. Taking a shot. We have a goal. Thank you, Lee. Nice at kissing. So, Lee scores his fourth of the season, giving us a goal lead early in this game that's that's really needed oh he stumbles taking the shot oh big save oh that's another corner outside we have Stewart he gets around he does can he cross it Jimenez tries to head it back we have a shot from a distance oh grace the pose Can he get through? He can. Take a shot for post. We have a goal from Valentini. Two goals up. Score. Got my coffee. So we're two goals up. Valentini finds the back of the net with his eighth of the season, and we are rocking. Come on, boys. On this one. I can I just can just tell. Win it. Nice. Then we get around. Oh, Jimenez. Go, 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 go. We're all alone. Taking a shot. We have a three goal lead. He's not going to miss from there. So we have a three goal lead now. Jimenez with. That's a beauty. Wow. Anderson wins it back. We have actually played pretty decent to be honest. Oh, we have Lee. He's through. He's taking a shot and we are four goals up. I don't know what's going on here, but everything we shoot is going in. So Lee scores his fifth of the season. We are four goals up. Wow. Lee is doing a good job. You know? He's doing a great job. Oh, big save. I was just going to say that's nice, 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 nice. Big save. Let's cut it in and let's win this one. Oh, we do, but it's a beautiful save on the line. Get to the ball. Oh, that's another save on the line. Oh, beautiful save. And, I mean... Things can happen, sure, but nice one. Just keep on, keep on, keep on. Taking shots. So Kissian finds the back of the net. We have a fifth. So Sarkisian scores his first of the season, giving us a five goal lead, and that is just beautiful. I'm not even slightly worried. I mean, it's FC24, everything can happen, I guess, but no, no, for the penalty for Morton, the game should be over, there it is, full time, 5 goals to 0, I'll take it. So before we head into the third game, which is a cup game, we brought up three players from the Youth Academy, we got Dominic Partridge here. Central defensive midfielder, we need to, to strengthen that up some. Um, 
he's gonna get it you know he's gonna be substituted into the game he's not starting and we also got a central midfielder in Joshua Allison he is gonna make his debut too but not as a starter he's 54 rated central midfielder central defensive midfielder he has that special something so that's it that's an interesting you know status to have and we also brought in an attacker to to give Hale some rest so we have brought in Alexander Thorpe he also has that special something he's gonna make his debut but Hale is starting the game so we are here checking the kits out we have well we're gonna play in our red kits and they are in their white black striped kits and let's have a look at the team so this is how it's gonna be. We have boiling goal, of course. We got McDonald, Dalton. We have Orton and Orr as the defensive line. We have Maric, Taylor, Hills, Jacobs, and Simon in front of him, them as the midfielders, and then we have a jaded Hale on top. But we do have Partridge, Allison. We have, of course, Thorpe on the bench with two others. It's a cup game. The reserves are gonna go out there. We're gonna have couple of debuts and things is beautiful buckle up <laughs> let's go so we are ready for the kickoff white talk fc versus grimsby town at the close grounds let's go big tackle from behind that's 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 a card even though the referee seems to not throw the cards around considering their tackle that was nothing that's a yellow card. <laughs> that is a yellow card for sure. Oh god. Stop trying to score. I want to win the game. Why why don't you just let me do that? Yeah, we have to really think about that one. We know now that he is not much of an alternative when it comes to a winger. He has no speed whatsoever. But we are still having a draw, which is fine. Oh Simon got speed instead. Taking the shot, and we are in the lead. Sima, beautiful. Simon scores his third of the season, giving us a one-goal lead over Grimsby Town, which is gonna. Well, it's it's a fragile lead. I know. It's the reserves. We all know this stuff, but we're in the lead after 23 minutes, and that is fantastic. We are happy with that. Beautiful. And don't let them cross it. Just be in the way. Nice one, Maric. Oh, oh, Dalton. Oh, that's a goal. No, that's a big save from Boyle instead. Get rid of the ball. Get rid of the ball. <sighs> big save, Boyle. Trying to escape that one. That that was disgusting. And it's all my fault, which is even worse. Oh, really? That's how we're gonna guys to play here? Oh god, you're humiliating me and it's a 1-0. Yeah, it is. And I totally deserve it. 44th minute. Blast it up in the roof of the net. 1-0. So, it's a 1-0. Let's go, boys. Nice. Oh god, Sarkisian. We have Thor. Oh, Thor is going through. Taking the shot, the debut of Thorpe, and we are, we are in a one all. Sorry, the two one lead. Jeez, thank you, Thorpe. So Alexander Thorpe scores his first goal as a White Hawk FC player in his debut, giving us a two one lead, and that is just amazing. Come on, so it's a heavy touch. Taking a shot, it's. Win this one? Nope. So we made subs now. We have Partridge replacing Taylor. And. Okay. Beautiful. Go, 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 go. Sarkisian. Cuts inside. Taking the shot. It's blocked. Oh! Ball out of bounds. No, it's not. It's a good one. And they are getting around. I'm trying to. Oh! Big save, cut it back, big save, jeez, so Kissian, defensive play.
We do have Thorpe again, taking it. Thorpe with the brace. Jeez. Oh my god. We have a 3 1. Thorpe went mental, but he scored his second, and we win that one. 3 1. Jeez, I will take this one. We saw Thorpe making his debut with the brace. Fantastic. So we're ready now for the fourth and final game of the episode, taking on Blackpool away, and they are in, they're in the top among, you know. We'll have a look at the, the league table of the game, but without further ado, let's just see if we can get at least a point. Uh, we do have the, U, <laughs> the new Youth Academy player, Thorpe, on the bench. He took Hale's spot there after that amazing game in, against Grimsby, where he actually comes with the brace in that one. That's beautiful. So two goals from him, earned him a spot on the bench. He's going to get game time in his first League One game today. So, so, Blackpool versus Whitehawk FC, and we are kicking it off. Come on, boys, let's mark. Okay. Okay. You need to put some pressure on them. The Kissian is there. Don't give them a chance to. Oh, we do give them a chance to. But, oh, God. What, 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 what happened there? Really? Anderson, what did he do? Because I had another player. Oh god, why would he do? That's some MMA stuff right there. So they had a penalty. Okay. Oh, we have a save. Oil. We have Jimenez going. Oh, he's going all the way. It's not a corner. I played really well. You know, they are... Oh, they win that one back. And here's the first goal. Yeah, back with the net. Tough. So we are down a goal in 29th. Um, oh, here they come. Here they come. Big save, boil. You know, if we get a point in this one, I'm going to be so happy. Valentini, oh, and he managed to get around, right? Yeah, he does. Beautiful. Cut inside, finish far post. Oh, big save, keeper. Anderson, oh, Anderson goes through. He's finishing, and he finds the back of the net. Beautiful strike. We have a one all game. Alexander Anderson scores his first goal as a White Hawk FC player. We have Jimenez cutting it back. Oh, big save! How is he? I'm gonna mix those two. Oh, big block. Get there, Jimenez. Oh, beautiful. He cuts in. Is this fair? No. I love it. Jimenez with his fourth goal, he has a 2-1 lead. And that is it, that game. We win two goals to one with the last kick of the game from Jimenez, finding the back of the net. It's so unfair, it's disgusting. But it's three points and I will take it. So this is the standing of League One after 10 games played of the season. Finding us, White Talk FC, top of the league. Who would have thought? Eight wins and two draws. Wrexham sitting second, three points behind us. We have Rotterdam down on third, five points behind us. Then Reading, Huddersfield, Blackpool. And Blackpool played really well. We stole those three points. Disgusting. Jimenez in the end of the game, the last kick, making it a 2 1 game when everyone. Well, everyone thought it would be a draw. Everyone actually thought the home team Blackpool would win easily. 
they had a chance and they should have won, but I guess Wildhawk didn't want that, so we stole three points and I'm actually really happy about it. We're just gonna keep on keeping on, you know? We can't do much else than that, so that is it. We played the four games and the episode is over, so I do hope you have enjoyed it. If you want, like it, smash that like button, it would be amazing for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, you don't have to. But if you do, I do thank you and I welcome you to the family. If you don't, it's alright. You know? It's free, but you do as you want. It's alright. Now, keep smiling and be kind to each other. And I will see you guys in the next episode. But till then, one love. Work. Bye. We say no racism. We say no. Oh, we say no sexism. We say no. Sexism, we say no, sexism, we say no!